What's up guys, it's Light Spiral here, and today I'm bringing you a TOA 100 normal farmable team for the Lyrith boss, the, the female boss. Um, so you can see the team right here. Um, I also just the other day uploaded a video of a one TOA 100 farmable team for the guy boss. He's called like whatever, Ataros or something like that. And if you want to, you can check that out. Um, but this is for Lyrith, and this is TOA normal right now. It's not TOA hard. Um, and this is being recorded July 16th. So, uh, July 16th, 2017. So, if they, if any of the monsters on my team or the enemy team gets buffed or nerfed, and since you watched this video, then whatever, take, take note of who, what changes happen if, when, whenever you're watching this. Um, so basically the strategy is I'll go through it stage by stage. The first stage I recommend, um, the only AOE skill you want to use is, um, Spectra's speed debuff. So, because, um, if you put two debuffs on the Praha, sorry, the Junos, then when they get a turn, they will cleanse themselves and heal the whole team. But so basically you don't want to get two debuffs on the Junos. And so um, right see so you can see the Juno on the left has two debuffs. So when she gets a turn, she's gonna heal this Annabelle. And so there's the heal. But yeah, you so don't use Vero Stun. You don't want to use Beretta's um whatever it's called. Um, Phoenix's Fury. The only AoE you want to use is Backlash, I think it's called, whatever Spectra's third skill. And so this stage can actually be pretty tricky. Just in general, this female boss rotation is a lot harder than the male boss rotation, and at least in my opinion. Um, I think stages one, two, and three are harder in the female boss than the male boss. But maybe, I, I think that per, most people would agree with me on that. Um, yeah, it's just, they're pretty difficult. And this, on this female boss on this first stage, the Annabelles can AoE defense break you and do a little bit of damage along the way. And then the Junos have AoEs, which you wouldn't think would hit too hard, but they actually do hit pretty decently hard. As well as all five monsters have a potential to cleanse if, um, like the Annabelles have a skill that cleanses and the Junos will cleanse if you put two debuffs on them. So, once you get to this point where there's just Junos left, um, it can take a little bit to kill them because if you get two debuffs on them, then, like, what's it called? If you get two debuffs on them, then they're going to heal themselves, and they heal themselves for a ton. So, normally, when there's only, when there's like three of them like this, you can actually afford to spread the debuffs out and focus a defense broken target but when it gets down to one sometimes it can actually take a while and depending on your team you won't be able to kill them um like spectra almost got the kill right there uh, and so yeah if you don't have any kind of damage or tessarian or like hua or something um it could technically be possible that you would never finish this stage because the Junos would just keep healing and you, heal block doesn't work on them because it's their passive that it like cleanses and heals them. So when it gets down to only one or two left, sometimes it can just be RNG as to whether you can win or not. But if you do the combination right, hopefully you can get Beretta's Turbulence up right before you can kill it like right there that combination kind of worked out perfect although i wasn't really paying attention to that but i was able to get the turbulence off right before she got a turn and when i was just about able to kill her so that worked pretty nice and this bernard maybe i should have ruined him a little tankier before i did this but i'm hoping i'll be okay okay so that juno is going to get cleansed so i'm just going to get to work on this one Okay, now they're both going to cleanse themselves, and they're going to be at full health before I know it. So, yeah, I'm not going to waste the speed debuff, because that's my only speed debuff I have. And, 
you want to use your speed debuffs well because that'll help a lot in being able to actually kill these Junos. So if I do I have turb plants up? Okay, I didn't get speed debuff on that one though. Okay, so that's a bummer. So let me turbulence this one on the left. And then defense break. Okay, I missed a defense break. That happens. Can I get a defense break? Okay, nice. And then one of these. So, yeah, this is going to take a minute right here. And this Bernard is getting pretty close to dying, but I'm hoping he's not going to die. Can I get a crit? Okay, so four debuffs. Let's see how much she's going to heal for. What was that, like 25,000 or something? Can I get it? I just need it on the left. And I get completely resisted, even though I have max accuracy on Spectra. It's just what happens sometimes. Okay, defense break this one. So I'm going to go for the one on the right now, just because. I'm going to save that. No, I don't want to use Turbulence unless I have speed debuff, just to make this better, like, easier. Now, this stage is super annoying. I don't... I should have put the dot on the one on the left, but I think I can kill it right here. Nice, okay. Yeah, this stage is super annoying, and I don't normally use this team. Normally, when I do this, I rec I highly recommend using Hua if you do have Hua, but I was trying to make a farmable team for this video, so I didn't use Hua in this team. But if you want me to make another video of a team with Hua, mention that in the comments, and I'll probably make it. Because this team will work, but there is better options out there than this team. There's like easier options. Okay, so for on this stage, I think it's best to kill the Vero's. Because if you kill the Vero's, they won't remove all your debuffs. And then Arya's between, like, your Vero will hopefully be able to cleanse what the Arya's do to you. Because they all, all the Arya's will end up doing the same debuffs. But so, the... There should only be like speed debuff and glancing hit for the most part. Of course, Vero's can do dots and stuns, and the Arya's can do sleeps and heal blocks too, but they're not going to do that much damage to you. So I recommend killing the Vero's first on this. Because once the Vero's are dead, and then the Arya's have used their third skills, this is not a very tricky stage anymore. I'm going to use that for the attack bar. Can I cr please crit? Nice. Okay, if I get a dot right here, this might be a dead Vero. One more hit for good measure. Okay, that's a dead Vero for sure. So now I'll just attack this one on the right just because it's closest to being dead. And I'm going to save my Phoenix Fury for the next... Um, stage because it actually is pretty important with this team to be able to do Phoenix Fury because you want to kill the you definitely want to make sure you kill the incarnations on the boss stage so if I can do this really quick just first skill it I want to save I want to save my skills on everyone pretty much so the boss stage is what's really tricky about this. Um, the incarnations really m can make it difficult, especially with a team like this where I only have one stunner. It can be kind of tough. But so when you first join this boss stage, you don't want to do debuffs because as soon as it gets a turn and it splits its incarnations, I'm pretty sure it cleanses itself. So don't waste your time putting debuffs on it first. And it's got all the incarnations within it at first. So I'm going to let it split. Okay, so now, um, the way I recommend killing the incarnations is first kill the green, then the red, then blue last. Like, that's order of importance. But always attack whoever is stunned, and if no one is stunned, then attack the blue one. So right now, the green and blue are out, so I'm going to attack the blue one until I hopefully can get the green one stunned soon. Okay, I'm going to save the dots because I hopefully Vero can stun them. So I got speedy buff on everyone. Can I stun the green one? Okay, perfect, perfect. So now I'm going to get to work on this green one because it's really important that you kill this green one. So I'm going to use the dots. And 
whatever, just get to work on killing this quick. Um, I actually think it's a good idea if you're using a team like this, um, don't be afraid to use the Beretta's Turbulence on the green incarnation, because normally you'd want to use save Turbulence for the boss, but I think for this particular stage, or like in this scenario, it's actually okay to use your Turbulence on the green one, because it's really important to kill the green one quick. So the green one should be dead, and I'm not going to waste my stun on this blue one because it's about to go. So yeah, the only stuns I have on this team is Vero, and Beretta's on Despair, so Beretta can actually stun with a 25% chance. He just Despair stunned right there, even though they was already stunned. But so I'll get this, hopefully I can get this thing killed quick. Dang, I was hoping to kill it before it got a turn off, but it didn't happen, so I'll Turbulence the boss here. Because the green one's already dead, so I'm not worried about that. Okay, now from here, the red one's in the boss, and basically I'm just going to get to work on the boss, and I'm not going to waste my um, Vero's stun, and I'm not going to waste Beretta's dots on just this. There's no need to. And I might as well use the attack break. Okay, never mind, it didn't land, but I was going to try and use it because since the red one is inside the boss... Every time I attack it, it's going to counterattack me. So, not great. Okay, so another thing I want to mention for this is in terms of like speed syncing, it doesn't really matter too much. For the most part, you guys are going to have your Bernards the fastest just because people tend to ruin Bernard the fastest in their whole like box. But the only speed syncing thing I really think is good is you want Bella to move right before Vero. So that if you ever need to do this, um, like if you ever need this to, ha like if when stuff when the red one goes, its skill or well not the red one, but the boss, this paranoia skill is an AOE defense break for three turns. So it's just preferable to be able to use Bella's heal right after that, and then after the heal, you Vera will go next and cleanse the defense break. Because, especially in this case where it's the red one, every time you attack it, you're getting counterattacked. But so if you have a defense break on you, it's not ideal. And the attack break has not landed on the boss yet with Bernard, but my Bernard has like 14 accuracy or something, so it's not really that surprising. But so this boss is doing pretty good damage to me right now, but Bella's able to keep me alive. Can I get an attack break? Okay, fine. I got an attack break, my first one for this... So I, I could have used Spe Spectra's Tailwind or whatever Backlash right there to try and push back the attack gauge, but I'd rather just save it for this and um, have a chance to make the speed debuff two turns again. So I got it two turns and it didn't push it back, but I have Turbulence ready whenever I want to use it. So... Okay, I have Special Assault. So the special assault is really what's killing it, but Vero does a little bit of damage as well. See, Vero crits 4k. Uh, it's nothing insane, really. Actually, I thought he would crit more than that, but it's not that bad either. So I didn't get the attack break on that. Do I have... I, okay, my, I was going to say, do I have a heal up? Because Spectre kind of needed it. So, speed buff... No, I'm not going to use this yet. I'll use that next turn. Attack break. Okay, nice. And... Okay, so I think next time I get a special assault... Okay, I think this is going to kill it right here. Yeah, that killed it right there. So that's the team. Um, let me see what time. Uh, it took me about 14 minutes to clear that, which isn't really that bad. Um, I'll show you the runes on all these guys, and yeah, I've already cleared this, um, whatever, like, it, TOA just reset, like, 36 hours ago or something, like, a day and a half ago, and so I already cleared it, like, yesterday, but, um, I made this farmable team video for you guys, uh, I'll show you the runes, like I said, and these runes are more than really what you need, um, the only rune things I would say that you would want better than mine is you want your Bernard a little bit tankier, may, potentially, because you saw my Bernard actually came pretty close to dying at some points against the Junos. 
Um, but other than that, this team was really safe and sound. It wasn't. It didn't come close to dying at any point. Other than the Bernard got a little close on the the first stage because of all the Juno attacks. Um, but I'll show you the runes anyways. This Beretta is a lot better than you really need it to be. But this is what I've got it on. Despair, Guard. I think Despair is really good on him. Um, you guard, it doesn't matter. You could do Guard, Energy, Focus. I've even seen people run Despair, Revenge, Beretta. Um, if you don't have Despair, don't bother with Revenge. But if you have Despair, Revenge can be nice because you can potentially Revenge into a Despair stun. But um, the stats note is in TOA, the accuracy cap is 45. So you want to try and get at least 45 accuracy on Beretta. Or on all these guys, really. All five of them. But so after 45 accuracy, try and get as much speed as possible. I recommend at least 180. And then the HP, at least 20,000, if not more. Like mine has about 30,000, a little less. But um, I, you want as much HP and speed as possible after you get 45 accuracy. Um, and so that's my Beretta. Oh, here, I'll show you 2.6. He's on speed, HP, and HP. Then I'll show you my Vero. Um, Swift Energy. Preferably you'll have him on Violent, but you saw his Swift worked fine. Um, he's got above 45 accuracy. Uh, I think on I think on pretty much all these guys, you want at least 180 speed and 20 to 25,000 HP. I'm not exactly sure on the number you need to get this done. All I know is the numbers I have are enough to make it done. Um, yeah, like I said, like I can't guarantee that 180 speed and 20k HP or 25k HP is enough, but I'm going to guess that that's about enough. Um, so, yeah, but just know here, I've got a good amount of speed, the max accuracy, and a good amount of HP, and also a little bit of defense. Um, it doesn't matter whether you use HP or defense, just whatever you have. Uh, I have them on speed, HP and defense in slot six so that's my vero here's bella who's on violent energy this is pretty much the preferred set of course instead of energy you could do guard you could do focus whatever but i have energy um i've got max accuracy bella is the only one here that doesn't really need the accuracy because all she'll do is defense break but the defense break is nice so if you can get it it's preferred and if you use bella and giants or dragons you'll have the accuracy anyways but violence preferred but swift will work fine um, my Bella's on exactly 180 speed, and you saw she was able to heal enough. Like I said, if my Bernard did come a little close to dying a few times, but I think that should be blamed on Bernard being squishy, not Bella being slow. But of course, Bella being fast would help. Um, and then you can see she's got a good amount of HP and defense. So Bella worked. I have her on speed, defense, and HP. So now here's Spectra. I've got him on Swift Focus. Pretty much the ideal build. Um, if you can, Violent Runes work better, but Swift will have to do. Swift did fine for me. Uh, I've got max accuracy on him. Um, I actually have mine ruined for a little bit of crit rate. I think he's even crit rate on slot four because I use him in dragons to do a little bit of damage. He doesn't do insane damage, but he helps your run time a lot if you have him on damage for dragons, but also for TOA. He makes it so you can kill the boss quick and um, he helps you kill the Junos. If like, if you don't have any damage, you're not going to be able to kill the Junos on the first wave. So you, if you have a damage Spectra, then that'll help. But so Spectra is a little over 200 speed, but it's really easy to do on Spectra because his base speed is so high. So like a, a Swift set on Spectra already gives him like 25... 30 a swift set already gives him plus 30 speed so just a swift set puts him at like 156 speed more or less so it's not that hard to get spectra fast um and then you can see he's got a little bit of hp and defense he's a little squishier than i would prefer him to be but he didn't seem to come close to dying the only time he came low on hp was really just because his second skill consumes 10 percent of his hp but so if he keeps using it he'll kind of kill himself but he survived fine and you can see here, Bernard, the only one that I'm saying you might want to rune a little bit better. I have my Bernard ruined with my fastest Swift set, so that's why he's ruined like this. You don't need him close to this fast. If you have him like 200, 220 speed, something like that, it'll probably be fine. And then I don't have enough accuracy. Accuracy would be really nice to get the attack breaks, if you can do that. And then 
Yeah, these stats are here. 25k HP and 900 defense, or about 1,000 defense, I mean. Um, preferably, you could get that just a little bit higher um, because, like you saw, uh, either you either want your Bernard a little tankier than mine or your Bella a little faster. Or, I mean, I don't know. I don't know why I'm saying that because my Bernard did survive, but like I said, it, it came a little close. So it would be safer if you didn't. But so that's this team, guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, just leave it in the comment section and I'll likely answer it. Also, if there's any other videos that you want to see, be sure to tell me in the comments. For example, if you want to see another TOA team, but if you have a Hua or if you have a Verd or whatever, um, and you want me to make a video on it, I can make a video with a farmable team plus your one extra monster that you want to see or whatever, two extra, whatever it, can, whatever it may be. But yeah, that's really all I have for today though, guys. So may the best year today's be the worst year tomorrow's.